Greetings, YouTube. So the provisions for the ACA are already being undermined by the administration of El Chito. Um, I mean, he had been in office more than a day uh, when he began to sign things that would undermine the ACA. And uh, you can't, of course, outlaw it directly. That's not possible yet. That's what Congress is going to get around to doing in the near future. Um, but loosening up the guidelines for it to the point where they're essentially unenforceable, um, where taxes can't be collected, um, where things go unfunded, and meaning that the whole law will collapse. And of course, once it does collapse, um, the GOP will then say, see, it just couldn't work, even though they are the ones that have been doing everything in their power to kneecap this since the day it went into effect. Um, now, the ACA is not perfect. It is not what we need. What we need is universal single-payer health care system, the kind of system that every other industrialized nation has been able to pull off, except for America, because for some reason, America is special. America is so special that the most powerful nation on Earth can, j can just ignore the fact that its people don't have health insurance. Now, this is going to cost millions of Americans their health insurance when the ACA finally either collapses under its own weight because they've undermined it, or they make it, uh, they make it, uh, they rescind it so that it doesn't exist any longer. Um, because they have nothing to replace it with. Nothing. They have, as they, I believe the terminology is, created broad roadmaps towards some kind of a solution, but there are no bills detailing how they plan on doing that. So, yeah, that's just going to take health insurance away from people. And if you're taking health care away from people, that's premeditated murder. You're going to kill people. The GOP is going to kill people, and they don't care. Now, in the past, they just prevented millions of Americans from having access to health insurance, which killed millions of Americans um, over, over the years. And they didn't care. Um, and then when the ACA went into effect, and remember, the ACA could also be called Romney Care because it was, in fact, a GOP plan. And in fact, the guy that was the architect of it was baffled when the GOP fought against it so hard because he thought the entire thing was completely and utterly acceptable to the GOP, including the mandate. He's like, this was a non-issue, an utter non-issue. I said, I, he's like, I have no idea why this was fought so hard. It was fought so hard because the person that wanted to put this plan into action was a black guy in the White House, a Democrat. So the GOP is just going to kill Americans. And they'll kill more Americans with this kind of an action than any terrorist organization has ever even dreamed of killing. In fact, the GOP has already cost more American lives than any terrorist organization ever has or ever will. Which is why I call the GOP a terrorist organization. Because they are. Their goal is to destroy the middle class and turn this entire nation into a new form of feudalism. And they will do anything they can to achieve those ends. They will lie, they will cheat, they will steal. They will poison, they will despoil, they will maim, they will kill. There is no morally bankrupt action the GOP is not willing to go to if it means it makes the 1% wealthier and it makes the rest of us powerless. So, at least he's living up to his promises. The GOP put him into power because they wanted him to destroy the middle class. And by gosh and by golly, he's going to.